Custom transitions in OBS, you've all seen them, they look awesome. So how can we incorporate them into our own OBS setup? First, let's understand how they work and then we'll apply our own custom transitions. When I transition between scenes, OBS is loading a custom video of these metal shutters coming in closing, a few frames of camera shake, and then they open up again. When the shutters are closed, they take up the whole screen. OBS cuts from your previous scene to the new scene that you're switching to, but it waits until the screen is covered. And once it's covered, it instantly cuts to the new scene. So it's an illusion. Under the hood, this is just a straight cut, but the custom video is covering it, and that's all the custom transition is. So here's an example in 3D. The shutters slam together, and while they're covering the screen here on the right, OBS switches from scene A to scene B, switching from A over to B, while the screen is covered. We can't see that happening because these shutters are in the way, which makes it look smooth to camera over here. But we know that behind the scenes, OBS is just cutting from scene A to scene B. Great, simple enough. So how do we apply them? Well, in OBS, they're called stingers. So go into transitions, hit the drop down menu, scroll down to add stinger. Name this Metal Slam. And under browse, we can find our custom video right here. But in preview transition down here, you'll notice it's cutting way too early. It's not waiting until our screen is covered before it cuts. It plays the video like it's told. It cuts like it's told. It's just not cutting at the right time. And that's where transition point comes into play. This tells OBS that after a certain amount of time, measured in milliseconds, cut from scene A to scene B. So we know that there are thousand milliseconds in a second. So let's try 1000 milliseconds. Preview transition. Now it's taking way too long. In doing it this way, we need to do a lot of guessing. So if a thousand milliseconds is too slow, maybe 500 will work better. And if you were guessing in this way, you might think that looks fine, but what you're missing, if you look in the corner here, it's not there, it's still slightly too long. So milliseconds is not working for us. Luckily, if we scroll up, we can change our transition point type from milliseconds to frames. And now we can know for sure when we want to cut. So how many frames do we use? It's actually pretty simple. We just need to find our custom video that we're using as our stinger transition and open it up in a video player that can do frame by frame. And frame by frame, until we get to the point where the video covers the whole screen. So how many frames is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we want frame nine. Now, with the transition point as frame, we just need to type in frame nine as our new transition point. And now, when we scroll down and we preview the transition, we're getting a perfect cut when the screen is covered by those metal shutters. Where the heck are you gonna find those cool transitions, those stinger effects for OBS? Well, I thought ahead this time and made some free custom stingers for you to use. In this free pack of OBS custom transitions, you will find this wave transition in several different colors. We have red, blue, yellow, orange, and pink. I also have this metal shutter or metal slam effect, and I've also included a version without sound. And finally, we have this very over the top explosion transition, and I've also included a version without sound. If you like those, then prove it and smash that like button for a free custom explosion transition. Let me show you how to install them. In the description below, click on the Gumroad download link. It'll take you over to this Gumroad product page for my free OBS custom transition pack. And unfortunately, I can't make a free button, but you can click here and then just type in zero dollars for name of fair price. If you've been appreciating this series on OBS, it would mean a lot to me in this channel if you put any number higher than zero, but you have my permission to download it free and guilt free. So let's hit I want this. You will need to enter an email address. Again, that's not something that I can control. But note I said an email address, not necessarily your email address. So just hit get and then view content. 
You can see all these custom videos that we're gonna use as transitions, but I'm not about downloading them individually. So up here in the corner, just hit download all as a zip and then save it. So once you've downloaded that zip, go ahead and extract it. I used this file path because that's where my OBS looks for these things by default. So every time it looks for my custom stinger transitions, it's gonna point me right here. Okay, Nick, that's great, but you made the video too long and I forgot how to use OBS. Not a problem. The file names have the transition frame right there in the name of the file, which means you just need to add a stinger, find the video file, select it and note the frame number, change the transition point type to frame, and then type in the frame. I also like to change audio monitoring to monitor and output and the audio fade style to crossfade. You can preview that and hit OK. And now you've got your custom stinger Install. Monitor and output just makes sure that you can hear the sound effects in your transition. And setting the audio fade to crossfade just means that your voice won't and then come back up while it transitions. So although we have a killer OBS setup right now, we don't know how to pipe it into Zoom or Blackboard or any of that. We need some custom software called NDI to output exactly what OBS sees into our meeting software. And it's probably the most complicated installation I've ever had to figure out, but we're going to do it together next week. So hit subscribe to join the team and I'll see you next week. I can use every single transition that OBS sees in Zoom. Custom transition in...